your voice and shout the name Jesus Oh, I believe that there's a better shout in you than that. I want everybody that's ever been healed by that name, ever been delivered by that name, lift up your voice and shout, Jesus! Call that name. Call that name. Come on, call that name. Come on, call that name. Call that name. Come on, I need to hear a church call. Jesus! that you guys are well. Um, it's currently like before 8 o'clock in the morning. It's a Friday, the 18th. The, it is the 16th of Tishri today in the Hebrew calendar. And this morning, you know, I just want to share a scripture with you guys this morning as I'm just spending some time with the Lord. We are looking, if you have your Bibles, um, or later on when you get the chance, um, please just go and meditate on the scripture. It's um, Luke 15 from verse 4. It reads, What a man of you having a hundred sheep, if he loses one of them, does not leave the ninety-nine in the wilderness and go after the one which he lost until he finds it and when he has found it he lays it on his shoulder rejoicing and when he comes home he calls together his friends and neighbors saying to them rejoice with me for i have found my sheep which was lost i say to you likewise there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 just persons who need no repentance. This uh, verse actually comes from a song that I was really, uh, recently listening to. And it touched me that Jesus will leave the 99 to go and look for you. He will leave the 99 to go and look for you. You're not, uh, your sin is not so bad. Your, your um, oh, disobedience, rebellion is not that horrible that God cannot forgive. Sometimes people will say, oh, well, God will not forgive me for all the things I've done. 
oh no, God, God, God has given me too many chances. Or whatever you might be telling yourself, that is a lie from the devil. He is the father of lies, there's no truth in him. Because Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And let me tell you something, um, my beautiful people, that Jesus is coming back very, very soon. And he is coming to take his children with him. He does not want any of his children to be left behind. At the same time, there's even a scripture in the book of Revelations that says, Woe to the inhabitants of the earth, for the devil comes, because he knows that he has a short time on this earth. The devil wants to take whoever he can down with him, because he knows his end. And that is eternal condemnation. And I just want to share with you this morning that whatever you're going through, whatever you've done, whatever you have done in secret, in the open, God will still forgive you for your sins. Repent and come to the Lord, for he will give you rest. He will give you his peace and his joy, his peace that surpasses all understanding. The joy of the Lord is our strength. I just want to leave you with that message that he will leave the 99 to go and look for you. And when he finds you, he will wash you clean. He will sanctify you. But the word of the Lord says we are washed, justified, sanctified in the name of Jesus by the Spirit of God. So I really hope and pray that this encourages you that whatever you're going through, any form of depression, any form of anxiety, any form of overthinking, procrastination, your body's feeling tired, you don't like, you don't feel like getting up in the morning, those are not from the Lord. You don't feel like praying, that's not from God. And I just I just really pray over you that repentance comes to you because jesus is the only way don't wait until it's too late seek the lord now while he shall be found and you will find him go to your secret place whatever that looks like to you and i pray over that for you in jesus name amen Communicating but it's way off Fighting for a love but will it pay off? Turn around, erase the gently till it fade out Another time me keep your good habits Or recognize it till it happens Working to obey what's on the tablets Never said it would be easy Won't preach until I pay Hey guys, um, I hope you guys are good Today is Saturday, the day you guys just saw, um, I did my nails yesterday. I forgot to show you guys how my nails look. I'll show you guys just in a second. Um, today's Saturday. Time is 11 o'clock, just after 11 o'clock. I'm going now to meet up with my brother. I haven't seen him in a long time. And yeah, so I'll check in with you guys later. To the furnace, the noises they don't live in my purpose. He knew it my way, so I keep going in circles. Follow the Lord's way, the dormant seed will germinate.
Hi, I'm tired. I just got back from um, seeing my brother. I haven't seen my brother in a really long time, and I truly, truly love catching up with him. It's like I don't know. We just connect, and I love him so much. And if you're watching this, I love you so much. So yeah, guys. Um, I just want to talk about something real quick about God's goodness. Like this one night the lord said to me taste and see that the lord is good and there's a scripture taste and see that the lord is good indeed god is good god is good like before i started this vlog um i had asked god in prayer to please provide me with the resources because i didn't have a mic i didn't have like the proper resources i'm still believing in him for like a proper camera and it, did, it didn't even take that long god provided and that's how i was able to get this mic and other lighting and stuff like that even for my nails my toes when i did my toes i had asked the lord lord please do my toes like guys he's your father you can ask him for anything i asked god to do my hair i asked god to do everything you know and he does he does exceedingly i got the nails at a discount price everything you know when you have the favor of the lord there's a scripture in the book of proverbs that talks about that god will give you favor in the eyes of man and god that you will have favor wherever you go whatever you plan to do you will have favor so i just I just like want God to get the glory out of everything. Everything that you see me doing in these vlogs is all God. It's all God. I didn't plan to go on this meeting today. It just happened. And I'm grateful to the Lord. And he's so gracious. And he provided all the means for everything to happen. Everything I have is from the Lord. So guys, trust in the Lord with all your hearts lean not on your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your thoughts he will definitely direct your thoughts and I I don't have my mic. I don't have my mic with me. So I'm not quite sure what it is you want me to say, what it is that you want me to message you want to relate to relate to your children. Yeah. Like whoever's watching this. Whoever's watching this right now, I am praying that you receive the presence of the Lord. I pray that you receive the Shekinah glory of God Almighty. God is reaching so many of His children in this hour. And he doesn't want you to be left out. He doesn't want you to be left out. Whoever's watching this right now, I am praying that you feel the tangible presence of the Lord. In fact, I am imparting that upon whoever's watching this video up until this moment. I am imparting the tangible presence of the Lord in your midst right now in the name of Jesus. I had the pleasure last night of sleeping to feel the presence of the Lord. I was half asleep, half awake, and, and literally I couldn't move. I was basking in the presence of the Lord. It was so heavy and so strong. I woke up praising the Lord. It was so amazing to me. I feel honored and privileged that God um, has, I don't know, what I've done and I'm not special <laughs> like I'm just a normal human being 
that loves the Lord with all of my heart. And God pours out His love upon His children, His presence, His glory. And I am imparting that on whoever's watching this video right now because I just felt it in my spirit to do so. I am imparting God's presence to come upon you and for you to be saved and repent and repent and I, I, I love you guys so much and I'm so thankful that God has given me this opportunity to do this even though I was going back and forth with him for a long time because I was like God I don't know I just don't know but I'm, I'm, I'm feeling so privileged and honored that uh, God has had me do this um, listen the, the least of these God will use the least of these and I am just so thankful to God that um, I can be a vessel that he can use and you can also be a vessel that God can use amen shalom everyone